What's up guys, it's me, welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're starting durability test 2 on the wagon. So today we're going to focus on uh, the lower half, like from here down is where we're going to focus on destroying it at. So I'm thinking we set up some log piles, you know, so we can like jump it and stuff and like maybe tear everything off, like from the front to the back we're going to tear it all off. So next, that's the next project on it and the steering's still really sturdy. But uh... And then so we did our custom welding job right here where it's perfectly straight all the way down. It still turns right to go left, so we're good. And then uh, so another thing is the battery's falling through the floor. So and then this is for uh, the clutch, just some oil. So but now we're gonna go drive it, jump some logs with it, and we'll see how she handles. Okay, so before we start like jumping logs with it, like while we still have it decently nice, we're gonna do some vlogging so we can. Vlog. All right. So here we go. Oh yeah. So, that angle. Like all the like all the diesel truck guys. Okay, we're good. Then we gotta, you know, do like. That's how, you, that's how all of them do it. Like you can like go out of the wheel and like go to the other wheel. And then like, then make sure you like like if you like they rev it and it's like pull the phone out. Yeah. So that's how the so this is how a normal a normal person takes a picture of it. That's it. So now let's get back to jumping logs. I think some of you are gonna remember this. Yep, this is from Exhaust Tip Durability Test One, and uh, whoa, tree. it's been very well treated. We usually like try to pull it around the carburetor, so it doesn't damage the carburetor. So during our testing of the past, I don't know, we probably spent 45 minutes trying to get the throttle cable fixed. So one problem was, obviously we destroyed this. Not too big a deal, we'll just keep putting oil on it and it won't tear up, theoretically. But anyways, so we still got our kill switch and uh, so that we had to put a new throttle cable. I do not zip tie it down yet, which is 100% cool. We can still still drive it and everything else. But uh, we also had to re-weld the exhaust mounts because uh, they fell off, but now the exhaust mounts are 100% tight. We are 100% clapped and good to go. So this thing's 100% deck. Oh, we kind of bent it. Unbent. Oh, we broke. Oh, we broke the screw. Oh no. All right. Well, now that we've extremely tore it up, we're gonna do some not so durability test. We're just gonna take our little motor 
left. We're gonna have a little wee bit of fun with it. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a rope and we'll be back. Alright, so this will be the last stage, third and final stage. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit all this firewood that I uh, cut. So what we're going to do, so yeah, this will be the last um, on the front end and all that kind of stuff. That'll be the last, um, you know, like time we tear it up really bad. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to drive it into the wood pile we'll see what happens. I got a problem. That one was bad. I just bailed off. Clutch locked up. Steering broke. Yep, so, see, like I said before, I was afraid them bolts broke and I was 100% correct. The, actually, I was incorrect. The bolts didn't break. The $5 Amazon steering system broke. Like, literally, it was like, it was like, I paid like 130 for it, but it was like, uh, five bucks. So, but yeah, she like, she spun, she was doing good. Like, until it really decided not to do good. So, let's go look and see what we damaged to, to the wood. You see where we got some paint that come off of the axle. I'm pretty sure that's the one we got stuck on, but it is really tore up now. So, guys, I'm gonna need a lot of subscribers after this video, because we really tore some stuff up. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.